Good morning, folks. It is Saturday, March 13th, 2021. My first chase of the year, and we're starting off with a bang. SPC has already put out a moderate risk. They started out last night with a enhanced risk. Now it is a moderate risk, mainly for the eastern half of the Texas Panhandle, basically straddling I-40. Our target is going to be the northern extent of that. I've got a logistical nightmare to deal with in terms of me being have to report to work at 3 o'clock Sunday morning. So I've got to be in very, very early. Add to that, daylight savings time starts. I'm already losing an hour. So it is about 7.30 here in Wichita. We have just loaded up the car behind me here. We are going to head out the door. We're going to make our way initially to Liberal and then we'll kind of position from there. We'll probably get to Liberal, I'm guessing about 11 o'clock or so, and that will give us plenty of time to kind of get set up in the panhandle. Hopefully, we'll work our way back with the storms as we go through the over afternoon-ish times, which will allow us to kind of saw off some of the driving. I would like to basically turn tail by the time we get to sunset. Um, is basically going to be my cutoff, unless I'm on something just insane at that point, which is not out of the question. Uh, big risks today are going to be large hail, uh, maybe tennis ball size or bigger. And then, of course, the tornado threat, which usually in a moderate risk means strong tornadoes are possible. They put that 15% hatched up in the latest outlook about an hour or so ago. So it's going to be a big day. It's a Saturday. I think it's spring break for a lot of folks that may or may not be in school. Um, it's going to be a circus out there uh, for a March day for sure. Um, so a lot of... Uh, a lot of logistical nightmares like i said to deal with today but we're gonna head on out the door uh if you guys uh yeah we're gonna head on out the door if you guys like what you're seeing like and subscribe here this is gonna be the first episode and we're gonna start off with a bang be anxious to see what the day holds in store for us so let's hit the road all right before we really hit the road Got an important matter to tend to. Figured since I'm leaving a little early, I can get away with this. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. We're gonna get started for you. Yeah, can I get a grande white vanilla mocha, please? Yeah, grande white chocolate mocha, vanilla, anything else? That's gonna do it. All right, movie 586. Thank you much. Thank you. Here's that white mocha. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one. That's not a grande. That's a vente. Good morning to me. That can only be good, right? All right. Now we can head on out. Time to hit the road.
Alrighty, folks, it is 1 o'clock. We are in Stratford, Texas, taking a look at uh, at the latest goodies coming in here. Warm front is lifting north, as we expected it to be. A messy setup ongoing here, already looking at radar. Line of storms has just developed over the last hour or two west of the Texas border into New Mexico, and that is, that is a pretty linear linear mess. Those storms moving almost due north at the moment uh, with a hair bit of east. So not going to not going to pursue anything further to the west. I think I will stay uh, on the Stratford to Dumas line uh, at the moment here. Uh, very interesting where the warm front is. Uh, currently in Dumas, it is 40 over 40. You go to Borger, it is 62 over 57. That warm front basically bisecting Moore and Hutchinson counties to my south and southeast. So Dumas on the north side of the front. Borger, which I think on a line is about 10 miles south and east of that. So the front is between there. So I am still north of the front, probably about a good 30 miles or so, and that's and that's fine. Definitely think south of I-40 is going to be a good spot to be. I think that's going to be the more sure thing. Obviously, that's where the highest risk is at at the moment. We'll make our move when we feel we need to make the move, whether that means we go south to Dumas. Like I said, I don't feel like I'm going to go any further west at this point, but uh, I would not rule it out to Dumas, even as far as Amarillo. Again, if I-40 looks like it's going to be a thing, it really just depends. These storms that are forming in New Mexico have a very, very northerly trajectory instead of east. So once these uh, storms evolve into supercells, expect them to be right turners. I still would think uh, northeast uh, or east-northeast will be the primary uh, mode or at least direction for those probably moving at a pretty good clip, 40 to 50. These storms are moving pretty good, the ones that are forming in, uh, in eastern New Mexico. So that is where we are right now. Next time we, uh, next time we catch up, hopefully we'll be on storms. So We'll, uh, we'll see you this afternoon. The National Weather Service has issued tornado watch number 20, effective until 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So the tornado watch was issued just before 2.30 that afternoon as I was southbound on US 287 heading toward Amarillo. Figuring because it was early enough in the afternoon, I had a little more room and time to play south of I-40, so I decided to roll through Amarillo, making it into town just before 3 o'clock. It was my intention to stop on the south side of town to top off the gas tank as I was approaching about half, but then I got off on I-27 to make that stop, I began to hear reports of a tornado in progress southwest of the town of Happy. Quickly calculating that I could beat the storm to where I thought it would cross I-27, I opted to skip the gas stop, get back on the interstate, and make the 30 mile drive south to get in position on that storm. I hit the Happy exit well ahead of the storm, so I proceeded west on Farm Market Road 1075 across the north side of town and rolled up on the storm as it raised the curtain on easily what was the show of the day. That is a, uh, that's a tornado, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. 
the tornado was approximately one and a quarter miles to my west-northwest, but the RFD, or the winds that wrap around the tornado, were circling around to the south side of this massive wedge. I was on a dirt road that was rained on and was slick as snot, so when those RFD winds wrapped in and hit me, they gave me a little bit of a shove. By the time I got back to US 287 north of Happy, the tornado was well off to my north and east, having crossed this highway a couple of miles to my north moments earlier and was likely already across I-27. 
I went north a couple of miles, eventually cutting back toward I-27 where I was stopped by barbed wire that was strewn across the road by the tornado crossing in this area. Fortunately, this guy got there before me and pulled the barbed wire off the road and we all were able to continue on. When I got back to the interstate, I observed much more significant damage. Time is 424. I am on the east side of Amarillo. One of the drawbacks to not stopping for gas, I didn't get a chance to get all my cameras set. Uh, as I was heading down to get gas, tornado was spotted, so I skipped the gas stop and rolled up and basically got within a mile of a massive wedge west of Happy, Texas. Uh, I had a satellite came down briefly after that as well. Holy crap. <laughs> RFD tried to blow me off the road as that tornado crossed uh, the road in front of me here. Um, but uh, we, we got out just fine, got stopped by some, uh, some damage or some barbed wire across the road. Uh, kudos to the, the gentleman who ran out and grabbed that, allowed us all to proceed. A lot of semi trucks blown down on I 27, power poles down. There was a, uh, like a cell phone tower that was uh, bent in half as well. Just absolutely crazy. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to get east of these cells on I-40 and uh, see if we can't uh, see if we can't pick up a, a couple of more here. I will need to stop for gas. I'm at a quarter of a take. I really ought to do that now, but I kind of want to get out ahead of these things. Enjoy the $50 fill up. <clears throat> A little breezy here in uh, McLean, Texas. Greetings everybody, it is 8.45. I am on the north side of OKC, northbound on I-35, so basically the home stretch. Uh, the, the logistical nightmares I thought I was gonna have did not have. Uh, yeah, I called it a day after getting gas, uh, despite there still being reports, actually, of a, a tornado southwest of me. Um, those storms were looking pretty rain-wrapped and looked like they were lining out pretty, 
pretty quickly, so I thought I would uh, I would take my wedge and run. So I uh, got a jump start on the drive home. Looks like I'll be uh, I may even make it home before I were to finish the show. Had I been working tonight, so that's uh, that's pretty good. This setup worked out very well. Uh, so to wrap it up, two tornadoes today. The big wedge, which we saw. And you might be asking, well, Tony, where's the other tornado? Well, let me show you. Watch this. Yeah, that's right. I I hit the record button while I was grabbing the camera, and thus it was recording when I lifted it up to shoot the satellite tornado, and then I hit the record button to turn it off. So fortunately, that was a a little bird fart, but it was there. (laughs) I promise you it was there. Uh, So we'll walk away with two on the day. Um, So a a beautifully successful chase. In terms of uh, March, easily my best March chase by far. I believe, I believe that is the largest tornado I have seen that far west. So that's pretty cool. Um, And yeah, I mean, pretty much... Thank you very much, Mother Nature, for doing in a day, making today better than the 2018, 19, and 20 season all combined. Uh, That's a pretty awesome way to start uh, this season, especially after uh, after last year and uh, really just a couple of of slow years. Uh, A hell of a way to, uh, to get started this year. Damage surveys conducted by the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Amarillo the following day determined the wedge tornado west of Happy was rated an EF2 with a maximum wind speed of 115 miles per hour and a max width of 1,000 yards. This tornado went on a 17.2 mile path for a total of 34 minutes, me observing this tornado for approximately 10 minutes before it completely wrapped in rain and moved out of my sight to the northeast. A large satellite tornado was also observed north of the main tornado, but because I was on the southwest side of the wedge, I never saw the large satellite that was rated EF-1. I did, however, observe a brief intermittent satellite while eastbound toward US-70 on the south side of the wedge. That tornado did not make the survey and was unrated. What a night. What a day. Best March, Chase. Awesome. I have, uh, I have not had much luck in March. That was, that was fantastic. Um... <clears throat> But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Again, forgive me, I had bigger plans for this first round. Unfortunately, I got some family emergency news right before I got into the tornado. Um, So I I did not get in the mindset to get everything flipped on the way that I wanted. But, uh, you know, plenty more to come. Obviously, this is is the new thing. This is going to be my new thing. So I'm going to experiment with it. I'm going to play with it. We'll get better with it. If, uh, if you enjoyed this, if you thought this was cool, a little bit different, please like and subscribe, folks. I, I'm super excited to, to bring this to you here on my channel this season uh, and hopefully plenty of seasons beyond. It was a lot of fun to, to put together. And again, I've got a multitude of, of cameras that I would be utilizing on a normal, on a normal day. Uh, again, just rotten timing with the news that I got. Um, I think it's going to be okay. I'll... Um, I think we're all going to be good. Um, but, uh, yeah, everything else was, uh, was, was great. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, you want to see more or less? Um, trying to, you know, again, kind of formulate exactly how to do these types of little productions. But uh, I would say arguably mile-wide wedge will, uh, will be a good christening for, for this. So again, if you liked it, like and subscribe. Please stick around. Uh, Turn on your notifications. I will uh, will be posting this video uh, plus the raw video. You could probably look for that link in the description for the just straight up raw tornado video, whatever doesn't make it into this cut, will be uh, posted on my channel. And uh, if you need something for a stock project, well, there you go too. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback. We'll see ya on the next round.